<laughs> you know that, that was just so... did Schultz's heart, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he likes you better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> what the... I don't think I have anything That's else. Those I can't my... believe you Oh, no, I do have like... a little bit of No Jumper, <laughs> but we can look at this first, too. I don't really care about This was no accident. Jumper, oh, oh accident. that was accident. But I, meant to, I meant to see you. There was a... So this channel... He's kind of like a podcast cringe type of vibe, okay. but uh, he had just made a video basically talking about how like the comedy scene in like Austin is like fucking dead, and it's kind of because That's of Joe Rogan's fault. Is oh, because dead? everybody's at the mothership. Yeah, he's mm. like what Joe Rogan is creating is really hurting comedy as far as like Austin. He, and put, he, was, the, he put the Walmart of comedies in there, and it's closing the local businesses. Well, and he was just talking about how Smart like people can't compete. How like it, it's just the vibe of the comedy mothership it's a manufactured type of thing i get you right saying. it's not some it's not like a real vibe because the you. comedy club the, these comedy clubs have stories like the building got struck by lightning type shit yeah. you like i know what you're saying i know like, what you're saying. Or like there's a niggas running the store exactly the yeah like but places. you just built this building or got this building in like, this is the mothership this is the motherland bobby, now, and it's not the mother bobby lee haven't even done a line of blow yet like yeah, it's not this place I, ain't even solidified i feel you i so, feel you but where I do you start you. though so um but uh but his main point was that like uh Kind of what Cat Williams said, like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga Joe Rogan, just average overall. Uh, he has his, on the special uh, comedy special wall, he has his own specials, which right. is already, uh, it's like, man. But you know what's also interesting is, like, we have to keep in mind, none of this is Joe Rogan's fault either. It's not my fault that yeah. I'm the most popular podcaster in the world. It's not my fault that I do comedy and maybe I'm not the best and I'm just really average. It's not my fault I can sell an arena out anytime I want to. It's like it's just I'm just Shit. him. I'm sorry. Yeah, like he just got it. And I just yeah. and even if my friends aren't the funny, he has, Joe Rogan has a curse that is not his fault. His curse is his success because. My friend could be dog shit at comedy or just ridiculously mid, but he's my homie. Or, or I have him on the podcast, and now he's got 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, and he's able to tour and make a life off of this or because the man, he popped up one time. Or the man who controls comedy for all intents and purposes right, in right. Austin isn't even like a great comic himself. He's not he's a, a great sub, gateway. He's a subpar comic. Right. So it's like, but it's, and you have comics trying to kiss this nigga ass. It's a weird circle going on in Austin. Better, is that better than a person who's not a comic that just owns a comedy club? And then you got also <laughs> point you. This all there might be better happened, at judging talent. This all happened because LA got fucked up in the uh, oh, the pandemic. That's right. Yeah, made niggas have that. to migrate yeah. down south to actually get on stage to perform. Yeah, yeah like, I forgot about it that. It was so many regulations that that got put up to where it's like niggas gonna go you got to socially no distance in the club, yep. the and that's city, if you can even yeah. open your comedy yep. club back up. Some shit just got closed down. So it's kind of just like a side effect of just. Everybody yeah, I having did, I did to kind of forget about that. Base. The whole reason, like the comedy scene, I don't even think it's even rebuilt from what it was. It's still not back up before. like how it is. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's that pushed, why it's that pushed a lot of those LA people to the south. That's why it's yeah. boomers whether it be are Texas, hard. Georgia, Florida, a lot of them went to Florida. They're all there right now. So yeah. it's kind of like you know, it's not like this was a fabricated um, arrangement. Well, it's not it, like Joe it, Rogan was like, "Nigga, I'm just gonna take over." It, put it like this: like some people are better curators. Than others, no and like as far yeah. as like Joe Rogan, I mean, I, and Grant, even uh, the elephant uh, grave, elephant or gravy, gravy. Ele the elephant, elephant gravy, even the elephant gravy. He was like, Look, I haven't been there yet, so I can't judge it. But yeah. and this isn't the right video, but if you do click on his profile, uh, you should be I could there. probably pick it out for you, maybe a little high, but you should be the gravy, elephant. but y'all, oh, the elephant graveyard, oh, graveyard, oh, graveyard, graveyard, my fault. But yeah, yeah, he sometimes makes videos like podcast cringe. Oh, that video he did about David Lucas, funny as shit, and like, <laughs> is funny. That whole situation is hilarious. Speaking of David Lucas, you Basically. know, I've been, I've been seeing him. He was on Kill Tony too. Yep. But you know what it is with David Lucas? This is just, I'm just, I guess it's kind of a personal shot I'm gonna take out of. Like, he was already on stage and it sounded like he genuinely hated niggas. And then, like, I just started, like, seeing him more. And I'm just like, like, this nigga's knees are inverted. Like, bro, mm -hmm. I can understand. Black people, 
black people, black men clowned you, and the black bitches wasn't fucking with you. I get why you probably hate niggas. Like just looking at that nigga, he put together nasty, low key. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got yeah. so now his and coming from a nigga with big knees, you should be able to judge him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. So now, like when I saw you. him on the stage doing the George Floyd thing, I was like. I was confused because yeah. I'm like, it's not funny, but I'm like, damn, you hate niggas, bro. And if you watch, did you watch uh, his new special, Uncancelable? No. Fuck no. If you, I'm telling you, if you watch this video, you're going to get everything you need out of that shit. For real? Okay, hey, that okay. shit is funny as shit. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, it kind of makes David look corny, though, but, and I can't He comes off as corny. Going. I seen him at a No Jumper oh. interview. I'm like, this nigga's kind of lame. Nope, not that one. What video are you looking for again? The not Joe Rogan one. one that I see up there, but there's a couple of them up there. It's just not the one you want. Was it the one with the red bar on it? Nah. Hmm. Damn. His thumbnails his make thumbnails, people look sick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah his sure. thumbnail. Yeah. He. It's very deranged, it's right? Some graveyard yeah, shit. It's, like, it's, like I just found it's mortician. Hey, shit. the graveyard. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's yeah. not the happy place. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, it yeah. matches perfectly then. Yeah, oh, it's like some brand. mortician okay. shit. Almost. Dying for you. Touche. This yeah. is a beautiful layout. That's what I'm saying. See, like that Joe Rogan shit, he made Joe Rogan look like Kunta Kinte. Yeah, all the thumbnails look like horror oh, movies. It, it was the David Lucas video. So the David Lucas video, David Lucas Uncancelable, is everything wrong with the Austin comedy scene. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, That's crazy. So Let's watch a little right bit here. of it. All right. I got you. So this guy, David Lucas, just released his first stand up special. Uncancelable, which was filmed live at Joe Rogan's Comedy Club, the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas. If you don't know David, he has been on Kill Tony regularly, and he even used to be Brendan Schaub's opener, so I'm not going to act like he hasn't been in the trenches and put in his hours trying to be one of the ever-dwindling 250. But this thing was truly <laughs> terrible, guys. I didn't like it. I apologize for that. And I hope it's okay that I didn't like a thing. But I found it interesting because I think it's a good example of why the Austin comedy scene is so boring and frankly, depressing. So let's check this thing out. First of all, the title of the right. thing, Uncancelable. Guys, it is 2024, and I think most of us can agree that the whole cancel culture concept is completely played out. At this point, as far as I can tell, getting canceled just means feeling bad about yourself because you're getting <laughs> negative feedback instead of having all of society rallying together to collectively pump your tires. So right away, David is playing up the idea that he's about <laughs> to spit just, like, some wild stuff that society <laughs> really isn't <laughs> ready for. Never and says, he doesn't never care says, about never any name, just negative just reactions that the audience might have because he's a bold comedy maverick. And he is uncancelable. But I'm not sure how David squares that away because he himself, just a few weeks ago, had to wheel out the apology podium to apologize Hit to the public for a joke. Hey, Graveyard, this is a fantastic channel. All With your voice, all you're missing is the eerie music, nigga. And it's yeah. up. It's, it's, yeah. And he it's, needs it because it does sound a little... It, looks, yeah. it sounds a little dry. Dry. Yeah, yeah. Dry. yeah. Let's get, get ep, ep, epidemic sounds. Yeah. $9.99 a month. Copyright free music is it'll clear on YouTube. Yeah. Let's get some. Let's get some. Like, I want like a low that's, spooky hum. That's all we need. I want, Very I want low. a low that's spooky hum. Need. Just a low spooky. That's hum. it. It will set these bitches off. Bro. Something like get Casper. He's already ad, doing great. He's, he's, he's got he's a, great he's, script. He's going to yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. already. This, and he's got good jokes. Yeah. yeah. So but it, that's literally all it's missing. It's a lot of you know different air pockets, and if you might want to skip a little bit more, but yeah. But even the filter that he's putting in the video, it's yeah, like... Yeah, right. It works. Yeah, yeah, he's making it all like a scary movie. Mm -hmm. it feels like by you. the dystopian face scanner system at the door. Why does everyone that works here look so hostile? There's looser security at the Gaza Strip, guys. For a comedy club, it sure feels super serious for some reason. I'm probably yeah, I don't get outside. that. That's another problem I have with this whole scene. The vibe is just so hostile. Comedy is supposed to be fun, isn't it? How can I have fun with this head in the same room as me? Wow, okay, it's even more serious than I thought. They are hosting a perpetual funeral for Mitzi Shore. Nothing gets me more in the mood for a chuckle than being at a funeral. Oh, no, 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 no. She's a legend, Oh, David. Oh, man, this is the crappy small room. No, David, that's disappointing. This room sucks. No heckling, guys. No talking, no breathing loudly. Laugh at all the jokes. Clap when it's time to clap. 
you forfeit your right to free speech at the door to the comedy mothership. Damn. And don't forget to incinerate your phone in the blast furnace before you enter. Oh, come on, you do way better. Hey, there he is. Shout out to Danny Brown. Danny Brown. Don't know who the other guy is that he's talking to. <laughs> his head is the spitting image of the fish from Super Mario World. Oh, I think his name is out. Cheap Cheap. Interesting. Get it together, bitch. More hostility. An interesting interior design choice. I don't know why Joe thought the audience should be subjected to his own personal intrusive thoughts, but there you go. Oh, this guy got reason, a little bit. Is this the guy? Is that David? Oh, never mind. Crowd shot. Okay, let's investigate this. Who are these guys? Hmm. This voice is crazy. These guys yeah. traveled all the way from Des Moines to visit the legendary mothership guys. Show some respect. <laughs> oh shit, that's David. Uh, wow, I feel dumb. Like, look how he presents himself. Is he okay? Why is he looking at it? Oh, like, look how he presents himself. That's nasty, Just bro. sloppy. That's nasty, bro. You have a righteousness to your fat, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. It's rules to it. You yeah, can't. Yeah, bro. Once you get past the point where, like, nah, your shirt fits better because. Yeah. Something about that shirt he's wearing over top of the T is like. Well, first weird. of all, that that. Overgarment, that whatever that is, because I, I don't even I, don't know what it I is. have to call it overgarment. I don't <laughs> yeah, know like, what, what it is. is it? Yeah. That's like, the thing, like, what is it? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure it's, out. It's, yeah, it's too bro. long. It, it's too yeah. long. What the fuck is he doing, bro? And then, it's like, not a hoodie, but it has like hoodie strings on it. Is and that when that you is? fat, you got to know what no, type of sh when you fat. I'm only assuming this because I'm not fat, but when you're fat, I'm, I'm assuming you have to know what type of shirts to wear because yeah. it's like you being so heavy. The shirt is already gonna fit loose, so you gotta have a hundred percent cotton shirt a lot of the times, yeah. just so you have some structure to yourself. Like, look at his look at his collar; it's all it's, it's all it's, lackadaisical. Yeah. When you're that big, it's, it's actually more. impressive that you can find something loose to fit on you. It is. I mean, that means it's like a five X. Like that's Shaq's jacket. Yeah, it has yeah. to be. Yeah, his collar's like rolled up, weird looking. Like a baggy shirt on me is three X. My shirt is two X. And that's like a two X shirt that fits you. That's, Snug, that's right? fitting me good. So yeah, imagine yeah. what's going Three on with this fucking. For me. Yeah. Oh my god, he's got a picnic blanket. That's a five. No questions asked. Yeah, not maybe, even maybe a six. Probably. Just <laughs> keeping it real. It, it depends on. <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm only three away. I know. I know generally where he's at. I'd be swimming in that bitch. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? You cover the moon with that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just right. had an eclipse. Yeah. But yeah, let's because he's about to bust down this whole thing. I could tell. So. Yeah, and literally about like thirty. This text message. Yeah, so, so that's a bad look unless. Oh, you said. So what? I thought you wanted to play it. Oh, did you want us to watch more? Oh, no. Nah, yeah, oh, 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 no, we're, we're done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Graveyard. Plot way to get out of that. Yeah. Man. Yeah, shout out to Graveyard. I like that. Oh, can you subscribe? It's too late. It's, okay. right, it's in my it. um, It's in my history, so. I'll be able to find it. Hey, right, Graveyard, hold them accountable. Let's do sub. this real quick.